morning, the Marble Day kids. My name is Bob, and I'm giving announcements for us today. Last week, we heard how good things will be at the very, very end of time. This week, we will hear about the very, very beginning of time. Wow. Before we sing more songs and hear more about being with God, let's celebrate the people who had birthdays this week. Birthdays! Birthdays! If you had a birthday this week, we want to say this blessing over you. Yes! God made you. God, God made you. you. God knows you. God knows you. God loves you. God loves you. And because today is Father's Day, yeah. We'd like to say this blessing over all the dads out there. God, dads. God made dads. God made dads. God knows dads. God knows dads. God loves dads. God loves dads. That's a great. That's the best. That's a great. Good morning. We're continuing our story talking about what happened way back at the beginning. So this is how it starts. Before the beginning, there was chaos, but God was about to bring order and purpose. Imagine it like a big messy tangle of yarn that gets transformed into a sweater beautiful sweater to keep you warm. All of the stitches are perfectly laid out to make it something good to look at and it has an important job. God was about to make this chaos look good and have an important job too. God began his organizing by taking light and darkness and separating them. They were about to have an important job and they couldn't do it in a tangled mess. Next, God took all the waters and put them in their best place. Water above, water below. They were about to have an important job and they couldn't do it in a splishy splashy mess. And lastly, God took the land and the sea and he put them in their best place. They were about to have an important job to do and they couldn't do it in a tangled mess. And he planted the seeds that he made and he told them to grow and grow and grow and grow. And now it was ready. This beautiful ordered place. Light and dark, water above, water below, land and sea, and land filled with plants and trees that came with seeds so the plants could keep growing and growing and growing forever and ever. Now, who would come? Who would come to live in this beautifully ordered world that God had made. Hi, Amaga families. This week, our family wanted to share with your families um, some ideas on how to practice memorizing scripture. Our family has, in the past, tried to take on big chunks of scripture um, to memorize. But some tips for that are we break it down. Our brains remember and work better when we give them just little pieces of information consistently over longer periods of time. So we might decide to memorize a psalm, but we might take six months to memorize that psalm because we break it down into little digestible pieces. So this is the verse that we as a congregation of Mago kids are learning this summer. This is just part of it. As you see, this is just one through four. Um, so I've written it out on this big piece of paper. 
You don't have to have a big piece of paper to do this. You can just take a piece of construction paper or cardstock paper and just write it out a little piece at a time. And I would say just do one verse for a whole week. You could read it at breakfast every morning. You could hang it up in your bathroom mirror so that you'll see it every time you go to the bathroom. Um, just put it somewhere that it's going to be in your face a little bit, but that won't annoy you, but that you're gonna see it. And you're gonna think, oh, I'll put it on the refrigerator. Every time I get something on the refrigerator, I'm gonna read that real quick, okay? So this first part is, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Trying to do this all at once is really overwhelming. So I would probably even just hide most of this for those first week or two. Like that. And one thing that our family likes to do is when we have it written out big, my girls like to go in and draw a little picture, something visual for each of those. And sometimes we'll come up with hand motions for it to help us remember for kinesthetic learners and visual learners and for audio learn audible learners. Um, if your family is musical, make a little tune for this. If you guys make a song for the verse that we're doing this summer, please send it our way. We would love to share that with other families. So many of us learn so well when we sing these words. So my girls are gonna take a moment and we're gonna add some pictures to this Bible verse. together a couple of pictures on here we've got a little saw for saw and crowns in heaven and some earths and we came up with some hand motions really quick you can do whatever works for your family and we're gonna do this this portion of our verse two times through so then I saw a new bing heaven and a new bing earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. So one more time. I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. So I hope you guys will take time to write this verse out, to practice it a little bit each day. Because, as it says in the Bible, we have stored up your word, God, in our hearts so that we won't sin against you and that your word is a light unto our path. Light unto our feet and light unto our path. <laughs> See, I need to keep practicing too. All right, guys, have a great week.